Hey friends! Alright, so today is September... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, it's September. Anyway, I thought today I would do my first ever labeled story time. I feel like a lot of my videos have been like story times, but they just haven't been labeled as story time. So I will try just to tell one story, only one, not a million like I usually do. <laughs> As many of y'all know, I've been writing my memoir, so a lot of things have been coming up in my mind lately, and this is a story that I thought might entertain you all. So I figured, let's talk about when I changed my name. Starting from the very, very, very beginning. Let's go back to 1991. It was approximately May 19th, the day that I entered this world, and my parents decided that I would be named after some distant relatives that they weren't super duper close to. Yeah, that basically sums it up, right? So they picked, okay, we've got my brother, John, just like all the other men in my family. And then I pop out, and what are they going to name me? But Catherine Elizabeth. Yeah, all right, so this all started in 1991. Seriously, Catherine Elizabeth? So I was born into this world like a royal English queen, basically. Catherine Elizabeth, Princess Catherine Elizabeth, like it was, it was fine, you know what I mean? I actually have no resentment towards my parents. I have no resentment towards my old name. I refer to my birth name as the name I was born as, something that I find remarkably hilarious, but also something that was used to hurt and torment me for a lot of my life. That has taken many, 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 many years to get over. Let it be said that five years ago you would not hear me talking about Catherine Elizabeth and smiling and making jokes about it. No, a sensitive subject for a lot of people. It was a sensitive subject for me, something that I'm cool with joking about now. I went by Catherine, never, not many people ever called me Catherine. When I was in middle school, people started making up different names for me. They started calling me Sven, they called me Acorn, they called me Walnut. Like, it's because I had this, this face shape, you know? I just look, I look like an item in the produce department. And a Sven, for that matter. <laughs> we used to make fun of my last name a lot, call it Kurjalovsky, Kurjalov, Kurjalovsky, Vichov. My name is just something that I've always played around with and the people around me seem to have too. So the main people in my life that called me Catherine were my best friend Amy and my mom going into high school. Basically, everybody else around me kind of felt more comfortable calling me Kurjal. Like, sure, the teachers called me Catherine, but people called me by my last name, Kurjal. I mean, I really think looking back on it, the fact that so many people told me, you just don't look like a Catherine. And I didn't look like this, okay? I had long hair. I looked... You know what? Here's a picture. That's what I looked like, okay? And that's when people weren't still like, you don't really look like a Catherine. So, obviously, as time went on, um, I just began to really start to shed... shed the Catherine skin off of me. No, I'm just kidding. I came to the realization of my gender identity at about 14. I came out around 15 socially, and I began my physical transition when I was 17. Now, people often ask me how I chose the name Sky. This is why I've been thinking a lot about my name change, is because I'm writing a poem about how basically I chose the name Sky when I was going through a really rough period in my life, obviously, as a lot of transgender people do, when you are faced with a world that is not set up for you to exist in it. So I was going through all this crap, blah, 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 and Basically, during a time where I was spending a lot of the time in my hoodie looking at the ground, I also was spending a lot of the time daydreaming and looking up at the sky. And so that's really where I chose the name Sky from. There was also nobody in my high school of 2,000 people named Sky. And to be quite fair, when you're 14, 15 years old, the worst thing that you can be called is a poser. Oh my god. Well, at least for me it was. I didn't want to be called a poser. I didn't want people to think I was copying their name. I really wanted my name to be Tucker, but there was a Tucker in my school, and my mom hates the name Tucker anyway, so you know what? It's a good thing that I ended up with Skylar. Now, of course, I had to try out the name Skylar. I had to make sure that the name Skylar fit for me. And so when people started calling me Sky instead of Kurgel, or they would just keep calling me Kurgel, that's fine, that's very gender ambiguous. Uh, they started calling me Sky, they started calling me he, him. I started to feel just... This new identity was right. The name fit, it was right for me, and I like it. I just liked it. Skylar, it's just nice, it's just, it's a name that I picked from the sky, and I was like, yes, I will embody this. I really wanted my name in the yearbook to be Skylar Tucker Kurgel. That would be so great, that would be so lovely. And then I also, I finally got that little, um, you know, got my little learner's permit driving my car around, and I really wanted my little learner's permit 
future license to accurately reflect me. So time for a name change. I needed it to be legally changed so that I could just move on along and not have to constantly be hiding, you know, these identifications. One time I was pulled over while driving my mom's car home from my girlfriend at the time's house. It was like midnight and I was pulled over for having the fog lights on. I had to hand my ID. That still said Catherine Elizabeth Kurgel and female on it to the officer. I was only like two or three months on hormones, but still, I kind of looked a little bit like this, and it was one of those moments of, uh, duh, duh, duh. So that's another important reason that I really wanted to get my name legally changed, and I really wanted my IDs to match, and I wanted to be able to enter college as Skylar, because that's who I was at the time, and it was important for everything to just kind of line on up. So we begin the name change process. Super easy at my high school. They were the most accommodating high school ever. Shout out to Acton Boxborough Regional High School because all I had to do was walk into the principal's office. There was like this little lined notebook and I just wrote down that uh, my preferred name was Skylar Tucker Kurgel to put that on my diploma and to call that out at graduation. And that went so smoothly. I graduated shortly after my 18th birthday. And I was just so happy that at my school, that was really easy to do. It was a non-stressor. The urgency of the name change didn't seem that much. But basically, my mom and I decided to begin the name change process around January of my senior year of high school. So a little bit before I graduated. And the reason being, I started on hormones and things were gonna start to get awkward. So essentially, in Massachusetts, you have to fill out a form to petition to get your name changed. I was still under 18 in January of 2009. I had to have my mom co-sign on it with me to change my name. We fill it out, mail it out. Now we're just sitting, waiting for a little court date. Two months go by, three months go by. Now we're nearing my high school graduation. But finally, in March or April, two or three months after we sent it in, we get a letter back. And I am expecting this letter to be my court date. I'm expecting it to be the day that I get to walk on in and get my name changed. And I expect it to be before I start college. No. Lo and behold, they send it back and they say, we need you to fill out the form in black ink, not blue ink. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? I've been waiting three months for you to tell me that my mom filled it out in the wrong ink. Okay, a little hang up, a little delay. Fine, we immediately fill it back out in black ink and send it off again because Gotta get this name changed, yo. I'm going to college, and I'm trying to go to college and not have to tell people about Catherine Elizabeth, my little twin sister now, <laughs> who no longer is here, and yeah. It was like the end of June, and we get this letter back, and it basically says, we need you to fill this out again, because on your birth certificate, it says Catherine E. Kurgel, not Catherine Elizabeth Kurgel, like you indicated on the form. Somebody, when typing up my name, when my parents chose it, probably just took a little shortcut. Catherine E. Kurgel. So, I just... At this point, it's not, it's nobody's fault. It's, at this point, it's nobody's fault. They're just being hyper-specific, and they could have told us about that a little bit ahead of time, so that I could have gotten my date, because we send it back in ASAP. It's like the first week of July, and by the end of July, I get my court date, and guess what? It is uh, during the second week of school classes after I've entered college. And it's not like you can make your court date earlier. It's not like I could write them a letter, because they probably wouldn't respond until after my court date is already scheduled. So. I was disappointed that I was going to have to enter Skidmore, still with all this paperwork saying Catherine Elizabeth. I lied a bit when I entered college. I said, oh, my parents, they, they must have just accidentally signed me up as my twin sister. Not that that wouldn't be the sketchiest thing in the world for me to be like my twin sister's imposter. But you know what? You're all young when you enter college. People aren't really thinking. They're too excited about everything. So it worked out okay. I just immediately scratched off Catherine on my ID card. I was like, oh, this is such a headache. Like, not only that, but I hate missing school, I know. I think the only time that I really missed school in high school was for my first day starting on testosterone. Like, literally. Anyway, I had to take off a day from school on my first week of classes and explain that it's because I'm getting my name changed. So I entered school in August because I did a pre-orientation program where we got to volunteer and help do some stuff around the neighborhood, which was really cool. And then, Classes start and September rolls around and my court date is here. So my mom drives all the way out to Saratoga Springs, picks me up, we drive like the four hours back to Boston and I go to court to get my name changed and I'm like nervous and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea 
what's gonna happen. I've been waiting for this day for almost a year. I mean, of course I'd known I wanted to change my name, but since I started the process, <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. We get to the court and we're sitting down and of course they're hearing other things. Like there's other court cases going on that we're just sitting in the pews and I'm watching and I, I love a lot of things having to do with the law. I love things like murder. I just, I'm so curious about court things, okay? Uh, of course there's no murder cases in this uh, courtroom. It's mostly just like, oh, you had a DUI. Mm, yeah, you're not getting your license back. Oh, you are you got married, you wanna change your name. No, easy peasy, signy signy. Easy peasy, signy signy. Easy peasy, signy signy. Easy peasy, signy signy. Finally, they call my name, and I don't really remember if they called, I should ask my mom about that, what did they call me up as? But anyway, it's now it's my turn, and I have to stand up. So I stand up in the pew, and the judge is this nice woman, and she goes, mm-hmm, 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 okay. Um, mm. And um, what is the reason for the, uh, the name change? So I wasn't really prepared for any questions. I thought that the form was pretty obvious why I wanted to change my name and now I had to say it in person. And I basically was just like exactly what I wrote on the form and I said, it just fits me better. Skylar just works better for me. And she looks up and she kind of like looks at me and she's like, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> She signs off, granted, I was granted my name change, heck yeah, and we have to go to this little registrar's office and you have to pay like out the butt for your copies, your official copies of the name change. And because at this point I'm like 18 and I'm a hooligan and I wanna make sure that everything can get changed and work out perfectly and I want everything to be solid, we got two copies of it with the little gold seal on it and we walk out with it and I just feel so good and so excited and so, completely ready to now take on the 30 million other forms that I need to change all my documents. <laughs> yeah, but that's essentially how my name change went. It overall was a fine experience. There were just a couple hang-ups, a couple delays along the way, and so I highly encourage anybody who is seeking to change their name to just make sure you know exactly how to fill out that form. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed my story time. Give me a like down below or subscribe if you haven't yet, or a comment too, whatever you want to do. Let me know if I should do another story time video. I had fun doing this one. I do apologize if I talked really fast. I realize now that that only took me 20 minutes to record and now I'm gonna edit it down, but um, that means that I probably talked pretty fast, and that's probably because I had three cups of coffee and a little and a little other caffeinated drink, and I'm very happy. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that this finds you all well. Much love. Keep being yourself. See you soon. <laughs>